On this trip to Costa Rica, we were introduced to a new method of coffee making. It is called the sock, or they refer to it as the sock. This is a canvas type of bag with a metal ring, and I put a scoop, just one single scoop of coffee in this bag, and there's a little stand that goes on, or you could just hold this by yourself. And I put my coffee cup underneath there, and I have some water boiling, and I'm going to show you how to make a cup of coffee. I'm really excited about this method because this little sock, we just went to the store and bought one for 50 cents. It, once it's dry, you know, you just collapse it all into a Ziploc baggie and we have it with us wherever we go. And I can always have coffee, even if the homeowners don't have a coffee maker. So hold on just a second, I'm going to get some boiling water. Okay, so I have some boiling water on the stove. And just any second, we'll start whistling. I'm going to manage to do this with one hand, so if I was Holding the sock with one hand and not the camera might be in good shape. I'm going to pour the water in there. I'm just going to position the cup. And you see it comes right through. I'll move the cup over just a pinch. And then I kind of check inside to see where the water line is at. Make sure that we're, before I pour more water in, that I'm not going to already exceed what the cup's capacity is. So we have found that the espresso grind of Nicaraguan coffee that we brought with us. We can actually get two cups of coffee from one little scoop. So I'll make this cup. Close my kettle, put it back on the stove. And you can see, just a minute, I'll have a cup of coffee. That's about all I put in my cup because I need to add some sugar and some cream. I'll let that drip for just one minute. So this is not something I've seen before really excited. We went to the store, like I said, and bought a bunch of these socks because um, my daughter wanted some too. There we go. It's to a drip now. So just move that cup away and put a little container there so it can just catch the rest of it. And that's how we brew coffee now.